Dear colleagues and friends, good morning. Good morning, Dean Thomas Gilarte. Good morning, uh, President uh, Marka Rosenberg. Uh, I'm Dr. Carlos Espinal, Director of the Global Health uh, Consortium, Robert Stemple College of Public Health at the Florida International uh, University. It is with a great pleasure to welcome you to this uh, important event, the COVID-19 Vaccines uh, Expert uh, Summit. This event is hosted by the president, uh, uh, president's office of the president of FIU, Dr. Mark Rosenberg, in collaboration with the Global Health Consortium at the Robert Stemple College of Public Health and Social Work. Let me take a few minutes to acknowledge and thank our partners, the Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization, and the National School of Tropical Medicine at the Baylor College of uh, Medicine. Special recognition, of course, to Dr. Peter Hortis and Marilena Botassi from the Baylor College, and Jarvas Barbosa, Andres de Francisco, and Cuauhtémoc Ruiz from PAHO for their support and contribution to this uh, important event. We have a distinguished uh, panel of globally uh, recognized experts who will bring the latest scientific information on COVID-19 vaccines and the impact of ongoing vaccination strategies uh, worldwide. And now, without further delay, I want to introduce Dr. Thomas Gilarte, Dean of our Robert Stemple College of Public Health and Social Work. Dean Gilarte, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Carlos Espinal. Good morning, colleagues and friends from around the world. I am Dr. Tomas Quilarte, Dean of the Robert Temple College of Public Health and Social Work at Florida International University in Miami, Florida. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you today. Our gathering today was initiated by our president, Dr. Mark B. Rosenberg, following the success of the Global Health Conference that we hosted last October. We have more than 2,500 attendees from over 60 countries participated in that online meeting, which focused on COVID-19 and other communicable diseases of international interest. Today, with Dr. Rosenberg's support, more than 4,600 of us will continue the conversation and start new ones, focus on the incredible advances of the past few months. Together, we will dissect the scientific, logistical, and ethical issues surrounding the distribution of life-saving vaccines. Like most of you, we at Stemple College have directed countless hours and immeasurable energy into efforts to safeguard public health over the past year. Many members of Stemple College were part of the task force that devises strategies to deal with the COVID-19 crisis at the university. They provided expertise and guidance around adapting to the threat posed within our immediate surroundings. Within Greater South Florida, Stemple College also answered the call. Provided, our expert provided, were at the front front of public and local government about ways to protect themselves and their loved ones and to help make sense of the national and state directives. And through it all, <clears throat> these same professionals never forgot the commitment to the next generation. They took every chance to provide unique learning opportunities to students looking to make sense of this moment in history as they prepare for the future. But it is these young people that we will soon commit our world. And it is our job to ensure that they're up to the task. Finally, as we in the United States conclude Black History Month this weekend, we are reminded of the contributions of our Black colleagues working in laboratories, clinics, nursing homes, and healthcare settings throughout the country during an unprecedented and dangerous time. We are also reminded of the disparities in access to healthcare faced by people of color, the economically disadvantaged, and others in marginalized communities. I hope that a very real concern for fairness and equity will inform our discussions today. And moving forward, I also strive to meet the COVID-19 vaccination needs of all individuals and countries around the world. On this topic and others, we will hear from leaders in the field. 
we welcome representatives from our partner institutions, along with other distinguished speakers and panelists. It is a testament to Dr. Carlos Espinal and his team in the Global Health Consortium that they have assembled such an outstanding and diverse group to bring us up to date on topics of critical importance. I thank them sincerely. And now it is my distinct honor to introduce Florida International University's fifth president, Dr. Mark B. Rosenberg, formerly university provost and chancellor of the Florida State University system and an expert in international relations who founded FIU's Latin American Caribbean Center. It is the, Dr. Rosenberg's sensitivity to the people's needs in all regions of the world that prompted our gathering today. I thank him for his foresight and commitment as we reach across borders and organization to address pressing questions. President Rosenberg, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dean Gilarte. Thank you, Carlos Espinal. Uh, thank you to the Pan American Health Organization, the World Health Organization, and the Baylor College of Medicine's National School of Tropical Medicine. I'm Mark Rosenberg. I have the privilege of being president of FIU. FIU is a public university, roughly 58,000 students. We're located in Miami. We're a relatively new university by North American university standards. We opened our doors in 1972. We are very proud of the fact that we're a majority minority university, and we're very committed to the social mobility, to the upward mobility of, of our students. FIU was created by our state legislature with an explicit international mandate to bring people together, to find solutions to common problems. And we operate with a sense of urgency, I can assure you. There's no more timely discussion than we can have today on the COVID-19 vaccines. I wanna thank you all for being with us. I also wanna thank the Robert Stemple College of Public Health and Social Work and our Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine. You see, we understand that we have an obligation not just to do cutting edge research on one hand, but to find a way to turn words into deeds. And by working collaboratively with you and so many others, we are hopeful of, of opening new pathways, of creating new opportunities and generating the hope that can bring us together, that can promote our healing, that can promote greater understanding and collaboration and cooperation as we confront together uh, this global pandemic. We've had a, a proactive strategy. We want you to know uh, to vaccinate uh, as many of our faculty and employees as we can. We're now administering second doses to many of our faculty and staff 65 and older. We've done cutting edge research. Uh, we've trained dogs, for instance, to detect COVID-19 and we're leaders uh, nationally uh, in that, we've developed a web-based contact tracing tool known as a cog tracer. Uh, and we have found ways to ensure that our specialists, some of whom you will meet today, have a high profile, are vocal, and are able to help educate the public about what we are up against. Now, on a positive side, I gotta tell you, those of us who believe passionately in public health, We've seen a significant growth in the number of students who are seeking degrees in healthcare and public health. And at FIU, we're figuring out ways to meet this demand during such a critical time. We do have a very aggressive online set of offerings in health and public health. So I invite you to check those out, uh, but there's much left to do. And that's why we have we have worked hard to bring you all together so that we can learn as quickly as possible and accelerate the pace of finding solutions to this tragic global pandemic. So I wanna thank all the specialists and experts who are on today. I, ex I expect that your time will be very well spent. I'm happy to hear from you afterwards at mark.rosenberg at fiu.edu. 
mark.rosenberg at fiu.edu as to the other things that our FIU could be doing to work with you to bring an end to this horrible global pandemic. Thank you all for being here. We hope when you can, you will visit our FIU and get to know the range of incredible faculty and hardworking students who we have at our, at our wonderful university. Thank you all very much. Forward to a very good discussion today. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Carlos.